The following video contains references to getting out of life. If you or anyone you know feels like self-harming, please think it through and contact the American Hotline at the number posted below. It's okay. We all have our mental health days. I know I do. And remember, there's always something else to see, traveler. The Claridge Hotel, The Boardwalk, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Known as the skyscraper of the sea, this grand old hotel built in 1930 saw action during wartime when Atlantic City was an Air Force base. A lot of famous people stayed at the Claridge, a very, very posh hotel, even for Atlantic City. But is it haunted? In 20 minutes or less. I am the Reverend Victor S. Johnson, and as always, this is my traveling companion and sidekick, Dudley. And tonight we head towards America's playground, the end of the world itself, to check out one of the oldest hotels in Atlantic City. A lot of people have come through the Claridge over the years. The likes of Frank Sinatra, Martin Luther King, and Marilyn Monroe all stayed here in the same place where we're going to stay this evening. The Claridge has a long history in Atlantic City, but wouldn't you know it, recently there's been some turmoil, and as such, I'm sad to report that there was a jumper who decided to get out of life in May of 2021. There have been reports of a spiritual energy in the Claridge. The higher up the room tends to be that one is assigned, and as such, we're going to get a room tonight, and we're going to see if that energy comes through. I used to give tours here, traveler. I would always end on the Claridge. Going back to before the days it was a hotel, this was actually the first white settlement in Atlantic City, even before it was Atlantic City, when it was Absagami Island. But that'll be another story for another day. As it was built into a luxury hotel, Mickey Mantle, of all people, was hired in 1983 to be a sports liaison director for the hotel. They proudly feature this on their website. Funny enough, I hear rumors that Mickey didn't even know what his job was. As such, the Claridge is a very nice hotel to check into, and all things considered, is affordable for hotels in the area. The staff is very friendly and I've never had a problem here. The only thing that would come close to a problem was when I would end my tour. I'll never forget, first time I came into the lobby and said, hey man, I'm taking a tour through here, is that okay? Yeah, sure, what kind of tour are you giving? A ghost tour. And the desk clerk says, oh, because of the jumper, right? The Claridge has a rooftop bar known as View. It's got restaurants on several different floors. It has a fitness center, a pool, and wouldn't you know it, an arcade. And the arcade was fun, all things considered. Seeing as I didn't want to make the walk to the Showboat Hotel and its Lucky Snake Arcade, a place I also love, but it was very cold, about 37 degrees and a half a mile away. With that, Dudley and I head to our room, a king bedroom overlooking the boardwalk in the side streets. Many of them are named on the Monopoly board if you haven't put that together yet. I'm right outside a park place. Heading to where? Boardwalk. We begin our time in the room with the K2 meter. Getting a baseline. Okay. Nothing on the K2. There was absolutely no response on the K2 meter traveler. With that, we had to try something else. I put out a cat ball to see if it would move. It did not. So let's try the spirit box. I'm going to give you another minute to try and talk into the spirit box. Please try and come through again if you can. Nothing. Absolutely nothing from the spirit box. Is anyone in here with me? Well, I have one more ace up my sleeve. That's right, the divining rods, the swizzle sticks. Begin Divining Rod session. Is anyone in here in my hotel room with me now at the Claridge? Please cross the Divining Rods if yes. If no, leave them uncrossed.
And that's how it's done, folks. Not haunted. Nothing. There's no one here. There's no energy. And in fact, I got the best night's sleep that I'd gotten in a long time. And over the last two weeks, I've needed this. No matter what I did, there aren't any ghosts here. Okay, well, what I mean is there aren't any ghosts of importance here. Fine, there aren't any additional ghosts here, okay? Are you happy? But Traveler, that's the thing. Sometimes this just doesn't work, and that's okay. It's part of what shapes my beliefs. And I know it may seem like an inexact science to get assigned a hotel room at random and check and see if there just happens to be any hauntings in it, but I'll make you a deal. Sure, I struck out tonight, but how about next week? I show you a real haunted hotel room, at least to me. In the meantime, let's enjoy what there is to enjoy in Atlantic City. Sure, Atlantic City has faced a downturn lately, what, since 2019, but that doesn't mean the Claridge isn't still a great place to stay. And hey, there's an arcade down on the second floor. So if you were looking for a haunted hotel room, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But if you were looking for a good night's sleep, without bothersome ghosts. Once again, sorry Dudley, you've come to the right place. I am the Reverend Victor S. Johnson, and I've been places you've only read about. This is my sidekick Dudley. Safe travels, traveler.